And that's a wrap. Well, for hurricane season anyway, it just kicked off June 1st and ended yesterday. New at 5, meteorologist Ricky Matthews recaps 2023. The Atlantic hurricane season came to an end on November 30th. A lot of questions at the beginning of this season. How active would it be? We were expecting El Nino conditions, which typically limit the amount of hurricane activity. But the Atlantic was record warm. So as a result, we had a very active season. 20 storms, 19 named, and actually a storm in January that didn't even have a name with it. It wasn't really uh, found until they went back and did a little bit of postseason analysis. Then they found out that January system actually happened. So that shows you how active the season was. There were some storms we didn't even 100% know about at the beginning of the year. Uh, Dawn was our first hurricane, a Category 1. We had a maximum of a Category 5 hurricane with Lee. Idalia, a Category 4 hurricane, hit the United States and was the only hurricane landfall this year in the United States. For our region, we didn't have too many impacts, but we were impacted a little bit by Idalia as it made its way south of North Carolina, kind of skimmed the uh, southern tip there of North Carolina. Then Ophelia made landfall as a strong tropical storm, bringing rain, wind, and even a tornado to Perquimans County as it made its way north. For 2024, this is the list of names. We start with Umberto, then Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, and new in 2024 is Francine, which replaced Florence and Milton, which replaced Michael from the 2018 season. The names go all the way to William, which hopefully next year we don't have to get to.